Hey guys, I have a very special unboxing in front of me, so I'm really looking forward to share this with the world, and especially my freediving community. So check it out. I've got the suitcase. So, as far as I know, this is the first hard shell suitcase made exclusively for freediving. It's made by Moltronauts and the parcel is surprisingly light, which I really like with the gear. And let's go on, open it and check out how it looks. I believe actually that this is the first suitcase to go anywhere. So I'm really excited to be the first one to actually get the first piece, not a prototype, but an actual piece of the, this gear. Wow. So it looks really nice. It's got the the motion of stripes. They're a little pushed down, there's no color on it. It slides and glides like really effortlessly. It's got a nice little logo here. It says motion of here. It really feels like like a piece of quality gear, especially the wheels. Like the wheels feel amazing. And this is super important because I have so many suitcases with broken with broken wheels. You can really lean onto them. Okay, let's check it out inside. So it's got a zipper opening. This has got a lot of room, like this is a 100 liter bag and it's huge, I, it easily fits a monofin and on addition to that I would say it fits two pairs of bifins, masks, suits, clothes, like whatever you need on a, on a diving trip. Okay, it has these like compression straps to keep your monofin inside. Cover up the middle compartment and another compartment. Yeah, another one with these straps. Can't wait to try it to fit some gear inside to do some traveling. Okay, let's let's see just how much gear it fits actually. Okay, so I uh, jumped down to my school and loaded up all sorts of gear I could find. So let's see how much gear exactly can you fit inside. I didn't pack like I was going to an actual journey, but from the stuff I crumbled in, I think we'll be able to get a really good perception of how useful this is for an actual free diving trip. Okay, let's open this baby up. I don't even remem remember exactly what I've put in, but we'll see. here. So, my monofin. This is the bigger size. My one mil suit. Then we have my one and a half mil full suit. Then we have a training suit, three mil. Another Training suit, 3 mil. Competition suit, 3 mil. Uh, open water competition suit, 1.5 millimeters. Let's go forward to this one. So, as you can see, you can't fit more details. You can probably assemble it better. 
but I was in a bit of a hurry so I was just throwing it aside but it's just for like demonstration purposes another three millimeter another three millimeter train suit silicone fins let's say I'm an instructor going on a trip so I want something for the students something for me then by fins so these are slightly harder to pack but I took them on purpose it's the the, the first model without the open heel so it's a, it's a little bit longer because of that but still it fits inside this one also long by fins and I just chucked in a few a few extra lanyards I would say this this bag really can fit a lot inside and I think even for a really big trip, even for an instructor who wants to get some extra gear for students, I think this should be something to choose from because it's, it's just big. It really surprised me of how much stuff I could fit in. It's just <laughs> great. You can fit the monofin, multiple bifins, all the other gear and all the suits you should need for like I don't know how many months or days so I suppose when I travel I'll be able to put all of my gear plus my clothes plus everything else I need so for me it's a really good like traveling companion this bag right here and I can definitely recommend it and can't wait to take it on a, on a trip so that was the unboxing and using of the bag I like it really and can't wait to get on a trip bye